every car on the road. We all drive too much. Impacts our air. I wasn't surprised. Kristen Wynn is not surprised by a new study from Environment Colorado Research and Policy Center, which says Mesa County had a lot of dirty air days in 2016. We are in a bowl and we have the examples of what can happen in Denver and in Salt Lake City if we don't pay attention to air quality. It's a nationwide study. It was community by community data of how many dirty air days certain places experience. For Colorado, Fort Collins has the most with over 100 days of degraded air quality. Followed by the Denver area, then Colorado Springs and Grand Junction and Durango tied in fourth. Nearly 150,000 people in the Grand Valley actually experienced 86 days. Emily Strusenberg says smog and particulate pollution is created by burning fossil fuels. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions. You should be in favor of auto standards that will protect the environmental quality of the air. When vehicles are one of the biggest culprits for carbon emissions, the kind of car we drive matters. One of the first interior states to begin the process of enforcing their own clean car standards. Governor Hickenlooper signed this executive order and he hopes to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 26% by the year 2025. Even one day with polluted air is too many. Deaths from heart attacks and strokes and I already knew because I have asthma that the air quality was affecting me personally. The effects on our health are one reason when in Strusenberg say this order is so important. You can't choose not to breathe really reinforce how important air quality is to all Coloradans. Because Wynn believes the Rocky Mountain State should set the standard for the rest of the country. First on the Western Slope Club, we're on KRX 5 News.